I'm back. I just wanted to film a quick video um, of a new handbag that I got. Yeah, I know, another new handbag. Um, I got this time the Coach Toaster Satchel, and this is in white. Um, it's also going to have a very nice uh, black kind of pinstriping around the edges um, and on the handles. Has a shoulder strap, which features one, two, three, four, five uh, extra holes, you know, so you can adjust the length to carry it cross body or on your shoulder. Um, those attach just here on each side and you can obviously remove these if you didn't want them on at all. You could just carry it like that on your arm. And it's going to have um, one pocket in the front. And it's a pretty generous pocket. You could fit your cell phone, um, some makeup it looks like down in there. And the lining is going to be a tan, kind of like a, maybe like a taupey tan, a lighter tan. And it's going to have these cute little tassels. I just love these tassels on each of the zipper pulls. And it's got the Coach Hot Stamp here on the front. And it's got two of the little hanging tags, one leather and one like a metal. No pockets on the back. It's a very nice uh, kind of pebbled leather, very soft, very squishy, but yet it does hold its shape nicely. And the inside, these zip all the way down, which is very nice because plenty of room to get your hands in. And then the sides feature these little gusseted side panels and these are not lined they're kind of like a neat um, piece of leather doesn't have a lining it's just that nice kind of like suede back material and the inside features your traditional um, seal and then it features the zip pocket on one side and then the two pockets on the other for cell phone once again you could fit in makeup um, lipsticks whatever you want um, and this is pretty good size, like for being um, a pretty petite handbag, it fits quite a bit. I have a enormous full-size wallet, um, fits in there no problem with just a ton, ton of space left. Try to get that. You can just shift it over the side. It pretty much takes up no room whatsoever. Then I just grab my little coach uh, cosmetic bag. I just hold like my contacts and stuff in there. This will fit in there. Once again, no problem. And still plenty, plenty of room. All right, and I'll do some shots with it. I am 5'6 um, for reference. And I have this on the Let's see, on the first hole, and this is what it's going to look like just on the shoulder. And I have been worried a little bit about the color transfer from denim, so I'm kind of babying it for now. You can definitely do crossbody, and this is a little bit high on me, um, but I could definitely adjust the strap in the back to make it longer. Um, but I like it to hit me right here um, when I'm wearing denim. I don't want it to be any lower to rub up against that denim um, and get any icky color transfer. And you can definitely carry it in the crook of your arm. And once again, you can take these little guys off completely and just carry it like this. Super cute, just fun for spring. Um, not uber expensive. I think it retails for like $2.98. I was looking at a Michael Kors purse, like had the perforated holes all over. It was a tote. They wanted like four for it. You get so much more bang for your buck um, with the leather on this one. And it's $100 cheaper. So I went with this one. Just thought she was cute. All right. 
and I was just going to talk about my makeup today a little bit. Um, I've been trying out the new Maybelline Dream Pure 8-in-1 Beauty Balm. Um, this is the new one that has salicylic acid in it. Um, so if you have any acne issues or anything, this is supposed to help clear it up and prevent it. Um, so far, I love it. It's lightweight. Um, I got this one in light to medium sheer tint. Um, it covers up you know, not like a full coverage foundation or anything, but it's going to give you just enough if you want to just go for a simple look and just go out the door. Um, otherwise, what I did today was I put this on and then I put just a tiny bit of my regular foundation um, in areas that I thought I needed it. And then I also got the new um, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder. I also got the foundation, but I haven't tried that yet. Um, this is in 115 to 120 light, and it's just going to come in a little compact like this. It comes with the sponge, but I just used my um, Sonia brush from Target to apply. Um, and so far, yeah, I don't mind it. It didn't seem like too cakey. Um, it does maybe seem, I mean, I'm not a makeup specialist by any means, but it does seem maybe just a little bit chalky little bit powdery but I like it I think the coverage it gave was just enough and I set it with like my max Mac fix spray so it kind of made everything blend together very nicely uh, on my eyes today I just went for very simple just light brown um, eyeshadow and this is in something that I tried uh, from elf it's the pressed mineral eyeshadow and I got this in the color Lunch Break. And it's just a really pretty brown. Um, it's just got a very light shimmer in it. I know this camera is not giving it any justice, but it's just a very light uh, taupey brown. So there's that. And I just put on a little bit of mascara. Uh, my favorite mascara right now that I've been loving is uh, the Voluminous uh, Butterfly Mascara. Um, from L'Oreal and this mascara is amazing the brush is totally awesome with the little winged out um, edge I just I can't get enough of it love it and for my cheeks I just put a little bit of blush and highlight um, and what I've been going to every single day for like a month straight is just this hard candy um, kind of three color this one's in the color third wheel it's the contouring face trio and it's going to have a blush a highlighter and a bronzer um, I'm mostly just dabbing into that highlighter and um, blush right now it's just a very light um, I was gonna see if they have the colors named on here it's third wheel is this color um, but it's just a very nice shimmery kind of rosy um, once again not a makeup professional so I don't know all these fancy terms that you want to call it but it's just perfect and you can't beat it Walmart it's like four or five dollars I have been using this straight for a month and I barely like made a dent in the blush so I just think it's a really good really good piece to have in my collection and on my lips I'm just wearing simple baby lips balm um, this is in the color mad for magenta it looks very pink in the tube but when it's applied it's just a very sheer very sheer pink and it's beautiful it's a little bit more uh, red than straight pink it's not a baby pink it's like a ready pink but yeah, I just have a few simple errands to run today, so I didn't want to like go crazy on eye makeup or anything and kept the face really simple. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd share that with everybody today. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments about the handbag or the makeup, though the makeup, I mean, like I said, I'm not a makeup, in, well, I'm a makeup enthusiast, but I'm not a makeup professional by any means. So I don't know what kind of questions I can answer in that area. But if you have any questions on my handbag, feel free to let me know um, in the comments below, and I will get back to you. Thanks!